Why, hello! Hey, Edward. So I got this new book that I want you to read. Hope you enjoy it. Happy Valentine's Day. Sincerely, not Owen Wilson. Welcome to Ed Reads, your host, Ed! Today, we're going to be reading the titillating bestseller, Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, this is usually more mature than most of my other reads, but we're all grown-ups here, aren't we? So, join me as we take a hot bite into this erotic romance. But first, we can't forget about this magnificent app my friend sent me. The Speech Jammer. So let's start. Christian is standing over me, grasping a plate of leather and running car. He's wearing an old, faded Ripley mice, and that's all. He flicks the crop slowly into his palm as he gazes down at me. He's smiling triumphant, I cannot move. I am naked and shackled, spread eagle on a large four poster bed. Reaching forward, he draws the tip of the crop from my forehead, down the length of my nose, so I can smell the leather and over my parted, panting lips. He pushes the tip into my ma mouth, so I can taste the sm smooth, rich leather. Suck, he commands, his voice saw. My mouth closes over the tip as I obey. Enough, he snaps. I'm panting once more as he tugs the crop out, out of my mouth, draws it down and under my, my chin, on down my neck to a hollow at the base of my throat. He swirls it slowly there and then continues to drag the tip down my, my body along my sternum. <laughs> I'm panting, squirming, pulling against my eye straight that are biting into my iris and my ankle. Oh, he squirrels the tip around on my navel. Then continues to drill the little tips out through my pubic hair like chloris. He flicks the crop and it hits my, my sweet spot with a sharp slam. And I come, gloriously shouting my release. <laughs> Abruptly, I wait, gasping for breath. Covered in sweat and feeling the aftershocks of my orgasm. Holy hell! I'm completely disoriented. What the hell just happened? I'm in my bedroom alone. How? Why? I sit bolt upright, shock. Wow, wow, it's morning. I glance at my alarm clock. 8 o'clock, abruptly the soft, soft silent hits 
and hope of the iPod front springs into a life. From inside my head, a lone angelic voice sings unaccompanied a long sweet note and is sure almost immediately by another, another voice and then more voices. Holy cow! A celestial choir! Singing a cappella in my head. An ancient, ancient hymnal. What in heaven's name, name is this? I've never heard anything like it. Something almost unbearably saw brushes against my, my neck. Running languidly down my throat, slowly across my chest, <laughs> over my breast, caressing me. Pulling at my, my nipples, so soft, skimming underneath me, so unexpected. It's fur, a fur glove. Christian trails his hand unheard. Yeah.